Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. So grab yourself a cold drink and let's get this on. So I decided to create this video after reading this message within the Echo Wizard. I was trying to test another build and post it for you guys and I started to read that the developer that created the Echo Wizard add-on was leaving and not supporting the add-on anymore. Now, he is going to TV add-ons, which is another uh, add-on for Cody, which is actually awesome for beginners. It installs everything for you. It has its own wizard, but I wanted to get this up on the internet in order to advise people that if they're looking to install Echo Wizard, it is no longer available. Now I'm going to go over how to install the Fusion, which is now called Indigo add-on, and how to configure the wizard in order to get you guys up and going since Echo Wizard is no longer available. So Echo Coder was the developer of Echo Wizard, and the guy really did a lot of good work. I had installed Echo Wizard not that long ago, actually, and installed the builds off of it, and it worked great. But when I tried to run it again, it showed that the Echo Wizard was no longer available and was uninstalled. So I decided to try out 17.1. Now, you guys can just stick with 17.0. I'm just testing this uh, new release candidate. Okay, so I'm going to blast through this installation. I'm going to put it on 8 times speed and get it installed so that we can get into the actual configurations of Cody Krypton 17. Now I'm doing 17.1, but it's just like 17. Um, so I'm just going to get it to the point in which you can configure your add-on, and I will show you how to then install the wizard that installs the new Indigo uh, add-on for you. Now the Indigo add-on is just like the old TV add-ons uh, which was called Fusion in the past and that's what a lot of people know it by and most people want to get Exodus on their Kodi installation along with you know uh, Phoenix and Channel One. There's a lot of the video add-ons that are installed for you. It installs a bunch of other stuff too, which you could play with. But my top is Exodus. I found that it's the most reliable and uh, best video add-on for me. So here we go. Let's get this installed and move on to configuration. All right, so once the installation is complete, you can then check mark the run Cody. Now, if you didn't install Cody for the first time, you can skip that step and just launch Cody. So let's click finished. And as you can see, Cody is launching. And then you're going to want to look at the top of the screen, left hand side, and you're going to see a little gear or cog up there. That is for the configurations. That's where you're going to set your sources. So first thing you want to do is click on the cog. Then you want to go over to File Manager and click on that. Then you want to add a source. Now this is how you direct Cody to find the add-ons. So click on the None section and type in H TTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add ons dot AG. Once you've done that, you can go down to OK and click on that and then give it a name. I'm going to call it dot fusion because that's the old name that everybody knows it by, even though now it's going to start to be referred to as uh, indigo. So now you press on the thing that looks like a box and then you go to install from zip file 
and it's warning me that I don't have trusted sources or non-trusted sources enabled. So unknown sources, you would click on that and then click yes, and that's going to allow you to install uh, sources that are uh, other than the ones provided to you by the Kodi. Um, now you just go to your zip file and you click begin here and then put in the plugin. It's the only one there. And you have to wait a minute and look on your top right hand corner of the screen to see that it's been enabled. Now I almost thought that it wasn't installing because normally it does it a little quicker than this. But uh, there it goes. And as you can see, it's now called Indigo, which is totally different than the old one. It used to be called uh, TV Add-ons Fusion. So it has a new logo. As you can see, it did say TV Add-ons on the top right-hand side. And then you go to Program Add-ons, and then you click on Indigo. And once you do that, it's going to allow you to select your wizard. So let it initialize. And now you can see that it has the configuration wizard there. Now you can also do add on installer and install cherry pick each one you want to install, but the configuration wizard does it all in one fell swoop. So you just click install. And now it is downloading and installing all of the proper files in order to get this uh, build in, uh, configured. I'm doing this one in real time just to show you how long it takes to download and configure the Indigo add-on. Okay, it's installed. Now you click OK. And there it is. Now it did close and then I had to relaunch Kodi. But as you can see, it is here and it has Exodus and a few other video add-ons that are, I guess, the ones that are approved by this build. Once you've worked with Kodi a lot, you'll figure out which ones you like best. I mean, uh, and plus you can go into the Indigo and do the add-on installer and or the maintenance tools, which are kind of cool. Um, you can clear out your cache and stuff like that, but it's got, you know, Sports Devil and One Channel and Aluk and uh, a bunch of different channels on here or add-ons that, you know, and Phoenix is another really good one. So, you know, you get the best of what Cody has to offer without doing a lot of configuration. So it's, it's a time saver for a lot of people and it's really good for beginners, but if you're a Kodi expert you probably want to just install and cherry pick what you want but you can see right here I'm just going through and looking to see if the Kodi is running okay and uh, it seems to be working fine all of the thumbnails are coming up really quickly it's running just as fast as before so Indigo is uh, looking like they haven't changed a whole bunch other than the name and the logo which is a good thing, especially because Exodus is, uh, I know that the main developer for Exodus also left and TV add-ons has taken up the banner and is uh, trying to keep this add-on running. I'm going to try running a quick test on a movie. You might know what it is and I'm going to try the 1080p stream. So that's coming up pretty quick. So I know a lot of people are worried that Cody's going to go away. There's a lot of add-ons and developers that are either closing up or changing uh, the main people who are doing the programming and all of that. But as far as I can see, at least Indigo and TV add-ons are still working fine with Cody 17 and hopefully that's going to be the case for a while because Exodus is one of the best uh, add-ons that I've used to date.
Final thoughts time. Echo Wizard is gone, which is sad. I really like this one, but shite happens. So Echo Coder to TV add-ons, and TV add-ons is changing from Fusion to Indigo. Wow, things are kind of hard to keep track of. I installed Indigo slash Fusion on Cody 17, which went smooth and worked as expected. There are really great builds, but it seems that the developers are in flux right now. I will keep you guys in the loop. But for now, TV add-ons is stable. Please subscribe, or if you found this video helpful, click like. It helps the channel out. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tag out of here. Thanks again.